This video will cover Grand Wizard Albert Pike's Three World War predictions, which are quite frankly stunning. But first, I want to give a background on the person who exposed the Illuminati's preparations for World War III and how they plan to use Islam to destroy the West. A secret diary was released by a man with information about elitist organizations and the New World Order. This diary documents that the Illuminati already knows what is going to happen for World War III. It's already mapped out. The agenda's already set. The diary that exposes this agenda belonged to a man named William Carr, who was born in 1895. Carr entered into Canada's Royal Navy at a very young age and ascended to the position of commander. He knew many at the top of their fields in politics and law and in academia. His side hobby was writing books, specifically books on the New World Order. His books documented the breadth in which the Illuminati had taken over all aspects of society including churches and seminaries. In fact, Carr claimed to have received an SOS letter from a high-ranking official in the Roman Catholic Church in November 1958. The letter outlined a hostile takeover that was underway in the Vatican, the Illuminati having infiltrated the Vatican's quarters Carr would die less than a year after receiving the SOS message. Carr also documented history behind the most elusive organization in world history, the Illuminati, and their religion, which is Luciferianism. He believed that modern organizations, including the Bilderberg Group and the Council on Foreign Relations, are Luciferian political organizations, he also believed that the chief governing body for Lucifer, for the ascension of the capstone, was the United Nations, and he documented this in his books. Carr wrote several books. His most controversial book was published after his death. It is called Satan, Prince of This World, and is really nothing more than Carr's personal diary and notes he saved for many years. In this book, Carr documents receiving the SOS letter from the high-ranking Vatican official, but he also documents other interesting things. For example, Carr believed that secret societies weren't working independently of one another, but that they were controlled by a top-level organization called the World Revolutionary Movement. And that's literally in his book, Satan, Prince of the World. This organization at the top tier is interested in inciting war, terrorism, and distress to serve its fundamental interests. And that is to establish the New World Order, a Luciferian system of governance and religion. Carr speaks at length about World War III in his book, Satan, Prince of the World. He documents that World War III was planned by a 33rd degree Grand Wizard named Albert Pike. Albert Pike was a notorious Luciferian who openly praised Lucifer in his book, Moral and Dogma of the Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. Pike was also a general for the Confederacy during the Civil War and a wizard of occult magic, channeling and summoning of spirits. William Carr documented that Albert Pike wrote a letter to a friend in 1871 outlining the final and largest of the wars. According to Carr, what Albert Pike actually wrote was a lot more than a letter. It was a blueprint that spelled out exactly what would happen in the last war. Carr said, quote, in the 1860s, Albert Pike is recorded as saying his military program might take 100 years or a little longer 
to reach the day when those who direct the conspiracy at the top will crown their leader, King Despot, of the entire world and impose a Luciferian totalitarian dictatorship upon what is left of the human race. That's what they're saying. Pike seems to indicate a conspiracy to start a war so that the Antichrist can ascend to his position as world ruler. Pike's letter ironically also detailed the specifics of the first two wars with stunning accuracy, suggesting that he knew before time the details surrounding each of the wars. World War I, according to Pike, would be fought to overthrow the czars in Russia and change Russia into a communist state. The Second World War would be fought for two reasons, to establish the state of Israel and to expand communist control over Europe. The Third World War will be what allows the Novus Ordo Seclorum to rise out of the dust. According to Pike, Islam will be the central factor in the downfall of the West. Islam will be decimated in the process, allowing for the new religion of pure Luciferianism to spread on the earth. All Muslims will fall for this system. There isn't a single Muslim on earth who will not partake in the religion of the New World Order, according to Pike. Islam is merely a tool to destroy the Christian West. That's it. That's all it is. It's a tool. That's what they said hundreds of years ago. The master plan to use Islam was kicked off in 2001 when the fear of Americans was taken advantage of by an esoteric cabal lurking in the shadows. In his inaugural address, George W. Bush proclaimed that an angel would ride the whirlwind and direct the storm. The master plan was unveiled in 2001 for World War III. They started Albert Pike's blueprint when they flew two planes into the World Trade Centers and blamed it on Islam. The storm that would come and the angel that would bring it were long-awaited prophetic fulfillments. And as Albert Pike, Grand Wizard of the Craft, had predicted, Islam would be the choice religion to use to foment a crisis between it and the West that would only get worse. What is the common factor every time we see a crisis? Who's behind it? Islam. And they want you to believe it's organically an issue of Islam. This was planned hundreds of years ago. And they have quite a plan for Islam. The esoteric cabal is using Islam to achieve the great work it's all been mapped out. We've seen what they're doing with the migrant crisis. We've seen what they've done in England with the Sharia courts and on and on and on. They're using Islam to stir the pot. The system has to come down. It has to topple. Islam will be used for the ultimate goal and that is to fully usher in the Luciferian capstone. They're gonna keep using it to destroy Western Christianity, Western culture. It's going to happen, and there's really nothing you can do about it except to pray. That's it. That's what we're called to do. It's been predicted. They've known about this since at least the late 1800s, and even earlier than that, I think. All world wars have been mapped out. The third and the last one was already written in the books. You have no control over this. This is a battle between principalities and powers and dominions. And that is why our brother Paul told us to pray and to go to war against those principalities and powers. And from the ashes of their world, We'll build a better one.
Do you not think an angel rides in the whirlwind and directs this storm? Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective, a new world order can emerge, a new era, freer from the threat of terror. This work continues. The story goes on. And an angel still rides in the whirlwind and directs this storm. A world where the United Nations, freed from Cold War stalemate, is poised to fulfill the historic vision of its founders.